Today at At Home with Miss Joan, we're going to make another good chili day soup. And this is called chicken tortilla soup. And we love it here and it's so easy. You just take like eight things and you put it in this pot and heat it up good and you've got a wonderful soup. So I'm going to show you how to do it. I take a can of just canned chicken. Now I think you know that I do my own, can my own chicken, but I didn't know if many of you would have this. I can put the video up in the box and you can look that up, how we can our own chicken. But this is just some I bought, great value. And I can't see the ounce size for this wrapping they got it on, but it's what I call a small can. So I'm dumping in the chicken. It's almost what well, could call it a dump soup, okay? <laughs> and I'm making sure that, I'm, you know how it's in kind of hump sometimes, so I'm just kind of breaking it apart just a little bit like that. Right. To that, I'm going to add two kinds of beans. I'm going to put just a regular size 15.5 ounce pinto bean and a black bean. And what I do is I pour the beans over into a colander and take them to the sink and just wash that soupy stuff that's on them off because it just makes a prettier soup, okay, when you take that off. You know the black beans, that soup on them is really dark, so they're going in. That's a can of pintos, regular size, a can of black beans. And then another thing that I do is I just use a regular size can of whole corn of corn. I've already drained the water off of it, and then goes the corn. Now look how pretty this is. I'll just kind of see our chicken, our two kinds of beans, and our corn. Now right here is where I kind of season it up with a pack of taco seasoning mix. All right. So I'm sprinkling in a whole pack of that on there. And I just kind of stir it around to get all those good seasoning on my corn and my two kinds of beans, like that. Oh, this stuff is good. All right, now it's when I start adding what I call my wet stuff. It takes a half a can of enchilada sauce. Okay, well, I've already made this soup like last week, the week before, and I used my half a can. And then I froze the other half so I'd have it for the next time I made it. So I don't have a can to show you. I don't buy a lot of this because... I made chicken enchiladas and preacher didn't like it. And he never says nothing bad. That day he said, you don't have to make this for me no more. 49 years, he never said that before. So I thought, well, I won't buy any more enchilada sauce until I found this recipe right here because I still had a can and we love it. So I'll have to buy some more. All right, that's going in. Put in uh, two cups of chicken broth. See that? Oh, this is going to be good, good, good. Oh, wow. Now, you also put in a can of your diced tomatoes. And so I did diced, uh, what we call Rotel. It's got the diced tomatoes and green chilies in it. So that's going in. And I just kind of look at it and see if I think it needs a second can of the diced tomatoes. And I don't think it does. What about you, Jordan? Looks good, don't it? All right. Now, this just goes on the stove by and cook it and let it get bubbly hot. And you think, well, this John, that looks really good, and it does. Now, of course, I'm gonna salt and pepper it, you know, just a little bit of each. And I'm gonna let this cook on just kind of a low heat for just a few minutes, because, you know, all these products in here is already uh, completely cooked. It's got, just gotta get warm, ready for your family. And of course, then I'm going to move over and I'm going to show you how that we fry up some just some tortillas to, in little strips and they get real crunchy. And you put them in a hot bowl of this soup and it's so good. This is how you make the tortilla part of our tortilla, our chicken tortilla soup. I just got some of these flour ones that I had frozen in the freezer. And I just cut them in little strips. And this is going to be the crunchy part that we put down in our soup. You see, all I'm doing is cut them in the round circles in little pieces, and I mean they fry up in what I call a New York minute. The grease is good and hot, and it's good to have them crispy, and you can see here's one that I've already got done. How crunchy it is. Mmm, that's gonna be good. Well, that's all I'm doing here. And you can serve it with cornbread, of course, the southern way to do things, crackers. We use those, um, Help me, Jordan. What's the name of those other things we use? Tostitos. Tostitos, because that's a crunch. And if I don't watch it and turn them real quick, they'll all be burnt. 
but they'll be so crispy to put down in our soup. This takes just a minute. And then we'll move over and uh, fix our soup. And you'll see how easy it is on this cold morning to have something warm in your tummy for either lunch or dinner. Now look at here. Ten minutes. I had a wonderful hearty soup. My family. Look at it. And look at these tortillas that we fried. Can you hear that crunch? I'm going to just, what I do is I just kind of crack them up a little bit on here. And, oh, they're, to me they're better than anything you can put with it. It's how to fry these up fresh. And it's personal preference, but I like to put a dollop of sour cream on mine. But I'm telling you what, this right here is so good. Mm, I don't know if you can hear that crunch. So good. I want to take just a minute here to thank the ones that's already subscribed to my channel and wondered if you would subscribe if you enjoy seeing content like this, just Southern home cooking. If you would share my videos with your friends, I'd really would appreciate it. And just comment and tell me different ways that you make this soup. I know that this is probably not the only way, but it sure is good and we enjoy it. And I do appreciate all of you out there. And if you was here today, we'd sit down around the table and just have a bowl of soup. I enjoy this coming to you from at home with Miss Jones.